What is up, guys? Coffee and Gaming 24-7 with me, someone better, and this is Ninja Gaiden. Oh, yeah, or Gaiden, or whatever people think it's called. I don't care. It's Ninja Gaiden to me. Um, 1989? I think this might be the latest game. Maybe Mario 3. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, this is Ninja Gaiden. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got a... I guess you'd call it a storyline. He's going for, like, revenge for his father or something like that, and... But then he's just fighting a bunch of street punks for a while, and then he's fighting, like, these weird, like, ogre things in a bar. So, I mean, it's got a story, but it, I don't think it's the best one. But maybe they go into detail later on, but I don't really remember. So, who did my father have a duel and lose? For what reason did he fight and die? Even I don't know for sure, and he's in the game. So, there's no way we know. Uh, maybe we find out, I'm not sure, but that's Rue. The day after he disappeared in Father's room, I found a letter. It said, Rue, I'm on my way to a life or death duel. By the way, it's just by the way. <laughs> if it is destiny that I not return, you are to take the dragon sword and go to America and see the archaeologist Walter Smith. He's like, what the heck? Be always brave. Okay. I will get my revenge. Which means the father's dead, I guess. So, that's pretty much Ninja Gaiden. Let's get into it. I'll do Act 1. The, the, game, the, the whole game is pretty much the same idea. So, you're just this ninja, right? And you kind of um, hit people with your sword, which you sheath each time. And, um... They explode. That guy has a knife. And you can jump up on signs. Like, you're very sticky, I guess is the best word. And those are Chinese stars. You can see I can jump up into the, the score, which is kind of interesting. Um, the Chinese stars kind of... Oh... I was trying to grab that box. You just kind of up and um, slash. Instead of just slash, it's up and slash. And that shoots those little stars that I collected. Like that. And then you can do, you know, like this. But this is one of those games where... Um, the, the, the creature or whatever, whatever the enemy is. Oh, this is like invincibility, basically. Like, if you stand in the same spot, the creature or enemy will always come back. See? It's just, it's one of those games, and it's really, it, it, it irritates after a while. Because, like, you're trying to fight this guy in the front, and then you, like, I didn't kill that, that thing, and that, that dog will just keep coming back. So it's a different different type of strategy than, than some games, but that's this one. Um, but Ninja Gaiden is a great game. Definitely a great game. Alright, so I'm going to go in. Into the bar. And for some reason, there's a very slow, very angry... Viking, I don't know what this is. I don't know how it relates to the story. But you can see his health. Every time I hit him, he loses a bar. Very, very simple uh, enemy to beat. And it, I'm Ninja, and, the, and that guy was enemy. There's no names. You know, th these games are very basic. I like it. But when they try to throw in a story, it kind of bothers me a little bit. Because I'm like, I don't. I don't care. You're keeping it so plain. Let's just keep it plain. He's a, he's an angry ninja. That's what it should be called, angry ninja. It sounds better. Okay, so there's a story, but first, what the and she shoots him. So. Yeah. 
So he's already... He went to America, he fought all these street thugs, and then kills the ogre at the bar, and then this girl shoots him. And now he wakes up in a prison. But now they tell you it was a, you know, a drugged gun, not, not, a, not bullets or anything, so... <laughs> Take this and escape. So if, if someone ever hands you, like, a little statue while you're in jail, you know that's the best thing you need to, to, to escape. Didn't you try to kill me? Someone's coming, be careful. I don't think they're talking to each other. That's the way that sounds, but... All right, so... I'm out of the prison. That was the prison right there. And apparently I'm still in it, though, with a bunch of caution stuff on the walls and just random guys walking around. Random dogs running around. You gotta be careful with these, like, little ledges here, because things love to just knock you off them. And this is... Oh, yeah. See, this is a game where if you get hit, they throw you, basically. So, like, any small ledge is dangerous. There we go. That guy's throwing knives. Obviously, because he's in a prison where there's no real floors. It's kind of just a bunch of pillars and ladders and stuff and just random bats with guys that are throwing knives and wild dogs. Ah. Oh. I'm just gonna move. And that was a giant hole. Any of that brown down there, that's obviously bad. And you gotta be perfect. There we go. Oh, I didn't jump. And there we go. I wouldn't mind the guys respawning if they actually gave you stuff. Because nowadays, if you find a spot where a guy just keeps respawning, they fix it. But back then, and um, a good example is Metroid. If you ever need health, there's those machines that just pump out enemies constantly. You can just hang out there and just fill your health again. And I mean, is this is this from Mario or what? Like the Hammer Bros or whatever they were called? I forget. Whoa. But I think that that's what makes this game hard is the, um, the constant respawning of the enemies and the lack of options when you're attacking. Ooh. I'm gonna use this thing to my advantage. They really need more of that invisibility stuff, that, that fireball, that ring of fire. And I don't I don't see any anything that I'm collecting, I don't see it giving me I like that that swish, because you can actually cut people down while you're in air. Until you pick something up by accident. There was no guy there that, this time. I, play, I remember playing that and on that pillar. There was always a guy there, and it was almost impossible to He's going to kill me.
Got him. Whoa, that was close. Yeah. All right. So, this all happened inside a prison, maybe? I don't know. What is the statue? Who is that woman? I'm just glad he's on the same page, because I have no idea what's going on either. I went off to look for that supposed acquaintance of my father's, Mr. Smith. <clears throat> so now he should just be wandering. Or maybe he found him. He already found him. Alright, so that saved a bunch of time, right? Wandering around America. Who? That sword, of course. You must be Ken Hayabusa's son. Told me I should see you. Last letter? I see. So it's already begun. What? He looks very strange when he talks. I'm not even reading the words. I'm just looking at his beard. You mean to tell that statue? Yes, precisely. I thought it had been stolen. It looks like, um, Alien or maybe from Contra or something. That demon statue possesses enough evil power to destroy an entire nation. Wow. Okay, so there is a demon... Shinobi. And thus was able to overcome it. Alright. Alright, so... Into two statues, Light and Shadow. Therefore, my quest is to find the other one. Oh. Oh. Okay. After him. So I, 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 I think he's not a good ninja. He's not that good. So apparently this guy was in a cabin somewhere. So this is Ninja Gaiden. You kind of get it. There's kind of a weird storyline and... You just fight random. There's just a lot of guys walking down the streets with swords and random jumping cats and stuff, and apparently a hawk that doesn't like you. But you guys can check it out on your own. Right, later.